New at 6, from normal to X-rated, the man who organized an event at a Court Avenue bar over the weekend explains to KCCI how his party got wildly out of hand. The young lady we saw that who showed a lot of things, she wasn't booked, you know. The lady that we had booked, she did her thing. We can't show you the video because it's too explicit for TV, but for the first time, we're hearing from someone who was there that night. KCCI Scott Carpenter is live on Court Avenue in downtown Des Moines. Scott, you talked today with the promoter and with police. Yes, Stacy and Steve, and the video under investigation appears to show two women partially naked engaging in sexual acts. Now, the promoter says he did partner with an exotic dancer for that party that Friday night, but he says it's another woman who took it too far. She came in, it must have been her birthday or something. She was very happy. She was excited. She wanted to get naked. Deron Wilson was the promoter of the party where the X-rated video surfaced and spread online. Des Moines police say they've seen the footage. It certainly appears that there was a sex act on the video. The video shows one woman exposed with the exotic dancer on top of her. Wilson says the dancer's performance started normally. I remember from the Friday night at Entanglement, it's called Entanglement, it was part two. You could have the Chippendale dancers visit a, a bar as long as you don't cross that threshold. That threshold being? Public indecency. Police say they are not pursuing charges against Wilson or the women in the video. They say the responsibility falls on shacks. Businesses that have a state permit can't host public indecency. It's on the owner, and if you're convicted of that crime, that's a serious misdemeanor. On top of that, you know, we're collaborating with the Alcohol Beverage Division of the state to see if there might have been any violations that would impact the liquor license. So, I mean, this could get to be costly and complicated for the business owner. Wilson says he didn't see or hear about the apparent sexual act during the event. Shags told KCCI earlier this week that Wilson was asked to stop the dancer twice that night. They um, repeatedly said on the news that they told us to stop and shut the party down. He never did. He was recording too. Shags is refuting the promoter's claim you just heard, saying they asked him to stop the performance. They just sent us a statement which in part says, quote, the promoter, who was also the MC of the event, did not comply and continued with his disgraceful show. We are humbly working with authorities and Des Moines police are continuing their investigation into this incident. We're live downtown tonight. Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.